What's going on guys? Christian here and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your PC. This is going to be a lot easier than the past videos since we're not going to have to use any emulators or anything like that. We're just going to use the built-in Steam support for controllers now. So we're just going to hop right into it and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Steam on your computer. Don't connect the controller to the PC yet. We're going to get to that in just a minute, but we have to go into the settings first. So once you open up Steam, you're going to see this box with some arrows in it in the top right corner called Big Picture Mode, and that's basically designed for controllers. So if we want to get to the settings, the easiest way to do that is going to be to go right into Big Picture Mode. So go ahead and click that, and you'll get this animation as we launch into it. And then once you get in there, you can go ahead and click on the settings in the top right. And then from there, just go down to controller settings. Once you get in here, you're just going to want to click PlayStation configuration support. Um, it was already on for me since I was using it, but for you guys, you're just going to go ahead and click that since it's not checked. So that it will be checked. Once you get that complete, you can go ahead and go back and go back again, and then just go ahead and grab your controller and you can either connect it via Bluetooth or via USB. I'm going to quickly connect it via USB and then I will show you how to do it in Bluetooth as well. So if we just connect it over the USB cord, it's going to go ahead and connect and it'll say PlayStation 4 controller using configs for my account. And then once you're in here, you can go ahead and use the D-pad to control whatever you need to go through. Um, so you can go ahead, go to your library, pick a game, and then launch it up. Um, now, the way to connect it via Bluetooth is going to be a little bit different, but not too much. So we're just going to go ahead and pop out of Steam really quickly. So exit Steam, and you can disconnect the controller. And then you're going to go to the settings on your computer. And once we're there, you're going to go ahead and click on devices. So you're going to go ahead and click on add Bluetooth or other device. And go ahead and click on Bluetooth. But before we do that, we need to go on the PlayStation controller. And you'll see a graphic up on the screen right about now showing you exactly what to do. We need to hold down the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time until the light starts to blink rapidly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just in a couple seconds, you'll see it'll, it'll start to flash. Once it does that, you can go ahead and click on Bluetooth on your computer. And as you can see, wireless controller is going to pop up. So go ahead and click on that. And just like that, it's ready to go. So then just click, go ahead and click on done. And then we can X out of that window. Now, once we launch Steam, Steam will open up. And then as soon as Steam opens up, you'll see the light bar on your controller should turn blue. And that means you should be connected. And if we go ahead and close this out and go back into big picture mode, we can now control the interface using Bluetooth. So um, all you need for that is just a computer that supports Bluetooth 3.0 or 4.0. 4.0 is going to be preferred, but if you have 3.0, you shouldn't have any issues with that either. Um, if you don't have Bluetooth, you can get an adapter um, for Bluetooth, or I think they also sell DualShock 4 controller adapters for the computer as well. Um, but that is going to about cover it for today, guys. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see more, you can go ahead and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.